What are you doing here? I'm um, taking a break between sets. Liz hired me to fill in for her singer while she's gone. So, what's your excuse? I just needed a night away from my problems. Hello, you need a drink, ma'am? White wine, please. And why don't you hit me again while you're at it? No problem. You know, Whitney, you probably should take it easy with those. Oh, well, thank you for the sage advice, but um, why don't you do me a favor and butt out? Mother, what are you doing here at the bar with Whitney? Well, I was tired of being by myself at the mansion, and I just wanted to be out around people, and Whitney just happened to be here. Whitney, are you okay? I'm fine. Well, you just had a lot to drink tonight. It's not like you. Well, you know, maybe I wouldn't have to if the two of you would have done what I asked and left me alone. Fox and I are just worried about you. Yeah, okay? look, Whitney, the way you've been acting lately, honestly, it's kind of freaking us out a little bit. Okay, you know what? I don't have time for this. I have to get rid of my next set, if you'll excuse me. Question, did you by chance say anything that might have upset her? Well, inadvertently, yes. I I was concerned about her drinking, and I said she ought to be careful, and she told me to mind my own business. Uh-huh. I don't think she's in the mood to take advice. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. I would just be happy that she gave her son up for adoption. Happy? Why would I be happy about that, Mom? Because it's better than having a drunk raise your... Whitney is not a drunk. Well, you could have fooled me, Eve. Ivy. Oh, all right. I won't say another word, but just for the record, I was only trying to help. Okay. So, when can I see my grandson? You can't. Why not? Why would you want to? Fox and Whitney gave him up for adoption. Oh, I've said it once, I've said it a million times. I didn't give my son up for adoption. Whitney used my power of attorney. She did it behind my back. Whatever, whatever. The point is, Miles is my son now, and I don't want him confused by strangers coming in and out of his life. I am not a stranger. I am his grandmother. Not anymore, you're not. Oh, you have no right to keep me from seeing my grandson. Have your lawyers call mine lawyers, and we'll see. Excuse me, we are not finished talking about this. Ivy just dropped it. I will not. This is my grandson we are talking about. Our first grandchild together. Uh, Mom, why don't you just uh, lower your voice, okay? Whitney's uh, upset enough as it is about the baby. She doesn't need a scene before she goes on stage. Now, um, uh, I should really get back to my table. Okay. Eve, you are this baby's grandmother, too. Certainly you're not going to let Chad keep us from seeing our own flesh and blood. Ivy, and you know how volatile the situation has been. Well, whether we like it or not, Chad is the baby's legal father, and he has every right to decide who Miles will and won't see, and we have to abide by his rules. Oh, no, I don't. Do you remember me if I'm Ivy, why are you so insistent on seeing Whitney's baby? Can you go play grandma with, with Ethan's daughter? Why do I have to choose? Both Jane and Miles are my flesh and blood. <laughs> Julian, will you please tell your mistress that I am right? He is your grandson, too, and Chad has no right to keep me from seeing my grandson. Miles is not your grandson, Ivy. What? That doesn't make any sense. What are you talking about, huh? I'm the boy's father. That means she's his grandmother. Unless, of course, there's something you're not telling me. Will the pain disappear? 